and uh, I'm going to be talking about the Russian One course that's going to be offered this fall of 2009. Let me go back to go to the next slide right now. Well, as you can see, you actually you see the first page of the course, and uh, as you can see, the course consists of 18 weeks, and it's an accelerated course. So, but um, but you have a glance of the layout of the course, and you can see 18 all the 18 buttons on the left side, and it also has different other buttons that the students can use, and I'll talk about those later. Each week is uh, thematically oriented. Uh, so, the, as you can see in the example, um, it's um, it's week 16, and it's talking about the Russian clothing. So we have the Russian, you know, the traditional Russian pictures there, and uh, and you know, with, with the vocabulary, everything else. We try to talk about uh, clothing and everything that has to do with clothing. Um, each week uh, consists of five days. As you can see there, uh, we, we just decided to go ahead and number the days uh, from one to five so it would make more sense to students. In this case, it's the week 13 uh, that talks about Russian food. And actually, you can see that this is Russian pancakes in there with caviar. And um, each week includes an overview section. And uh, I'll go to the next slide and explain what it has uh, inside in the overview section. OK. Uh, yeah, weekly overviews contain a note from the instructor, uh, the to-do list for students, objectives, and standards. Uh, the note from the instructor pretty much it says you know what we're gonna what we're gonna expect from the students this week and the to do list actually tells them exactly where to go and what to do and by what deadline so it's very clear and precise in there so they won't get confused um, objective they um, they pretty much say what the student is gonna study or what what is what what we expect from the students uh, in this week and the standard uh, it shows how this week actually meets the um, the standard course of study uh, so uh, and basically we we based it on the North Carolina course of study in this case. Yeah, first days uh, in, in weeks, they typically start with the vocabulary section. Uh, so um, as you can see, this is, the, uh, this is the, the phrase that we use as an example. It says, Kakva Zavud, which means, what is your name? And as you can see, we have a picture and everything else in there and the phonetics. As you have probably noticed, uh, we have uh, an audio file that comes with each vocabulary word in there, so like that, students can can play it and, and hear what it sounds like. Um, students are going to be working with, with their conversation coaches uh, in addition to this, so like that they can practice even more of their pronunciation skills. And you know, basically, uh, conversation coaches are going to help them. Uh, polish a lot of things in their grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, things like that. 